Good evening, everyone. We sold out all of all of the football new release, so now we can go into some 2018 Topps Gold Label Baseball, another brand new release today on a Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. 16 box. Pick your team number one from the brand new website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks who got into the action right here on the 12th of Friday on a, in rainy Redondo Beach, ladies and gentlemen. A little, some thunderstorms passing through here. So there's everyone here. Big thanks to Ted, who got the last two teams, Mariners and Rays. Double last spot mojo. He actually bought the last four teams. All right. Knife. Knife's in my pocket. I forgot what gold label looks like, to be honest with you. Man, what a mess. All right, here we go. Am I missing a box? No, I'm not. There we go. There is four stacks of four, 16 boxes. All right, good luck, everybody. One framed autograph card per box. That's nice. Good luck, everyone. There's the frame. You can see all the class numbers behind there, too. And some of these are serial numbered, like that one, class 1 to 150. Max Scherzer, Nationals. I think all the numbers are on front. There we go. Class 2, 49 out of 50, Nolan Arenado for the Rockies. All right. And your framed autograph is going to be Luis Castillo. That's pretty cool. Nice one for, I love these framed autos. Reds, Ryan Redman with the Reds. Are these going to fit in 130s? Probably not. I need some more of these 180s. Uh, Ted, no card ship in this. You read the item description, right? The item description says no card ship. This is just donation to Jaspies. And we keep everything. Thank you, by the way. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone.
All right, looks like we've got a re redemption now over here. Yeah, we've got a redemption here, folks. Out of 150, J.P. Crawford. We'll set those Otanis aside, too. And we'll top load all these before they get sent out, of course. All right, so behind Austin Hayes, congratulations, you are due to receive a Golden Greats framed autograph relic of D O Donald Donald Don 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 Mattingling. Nice. Ed Aarons with the Yankees. All right, next box. Got Alex Verdugo to 99. Rough day for the Dodgers today. They fell to the Brew Crew six to five. But a, a few they had four errors in the game, and I think I think that was the most concerning thing. I know the Brewers were going to be tough to beat in the first place, but when you're doing four errors, that does, that's not going to help you in the ball game. All right, that Verdugo will go to Bruce and the Dodgers. There's Trey Mancini, and there's Verdugo again. And behind Verdugo is Max Fried. That goes to D-Mac and the Braves. Nice. Yeah, I didn't realize that that the vet base was not going to ship. I didn't read my own item description, James. Sorry about that. All right, next one. We got there's Don Mattingly again out of fifty. Now to twenty five, Francisco Mejia for the tribe. Oh, forgot about this. All right, behind Adam Jones is Miguel Andujar. That is strong. Who does everyone have in tomorrow's Red Sox Yank or yeah, Red Sox Astros game that is? Maybe they should have played Andujar in that last game perhaps. For the Yankees. All right, next box.
I don't know. Maybe I'll convince the shipping team to ship vet base for this one. As a, uh, so, I don't know. You might get the vet base in the mail for this first break. One of these days, we're going to put no card ship in, in one of the in the item description and see what happens. David, know you have the Red Sox beating the Astros game one. That's gonna be that's gonna be a good series too. I think, I think both series could go six or seven games. You'll pick yours up. That that's not the issue. The the it's it's sorting that's the issue. Sorting it all out. Out of fifty, Justin Upton. Ted, you have Red Sox going all the way? ALCS and then the World Series? Ryan McMahon, Rockies. That'll be for Anthony with the Rocks. For the hobby, saying, did you see that they think Severino was throwing meatballs that gave the Sox an advantage? Who is they? And and what? Why do they think that Severino would do that? Well, like, what would? What's the advantage for him to give the Sox an advantage? Like he was intentionally throwing like meatballs up there. Sure, James. If you want to, if you want to come out from Louisiana, I think we just actually hired a. I think we're hiring a new sorter or an, another sorter soon. We've been we've been down a sorter for a little bit, so we we've all been wearing that hat. But we got a one of one Mike Piazza, class two one of one Woo. for the Mets. Anthony P. Nice, Anthony P with the Mike P. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. There's Corey Kluber to 150. And the frame. Paul Blackburn, 21 out of 50. That is for Jay Kreider and the A's. All right, so for the hobby, so you're, so his teammates think that Severino was throwing meatballs to give the Sox an advantage. Why do but why do they why do they think he was doing that for what to what end that he was intentionally doing that but like because he hates his teammates or he was betting on the Red Sox or what <laughs> I don't know like why they would think that or why what reason Severino would do that He bet the over, probably. <laughs> James Simer saying he probably bet the over. Zazi Smith, the wizard, to 99. There's Randy Johnson 
Gary Sanchez, and Chance Cisco. Okay. I thought that was a, a ding in the, the card itself, but no, it's just a piece of fuzz. Nice one for the O's. That goes to EA and the Orioles. He put a pay, he put the paycheck on the over. I think Severino just hasn't been pitching well down the stretch after like a great first half of the season. And then you combine that with just whatever fatigue he may, he may have by the end of the towards the end of the season facing a good Red Sox team. Maybe a, little, maybe a little pressure on him. Put all that together, and there, there you have it. That's the frame. The Yankees are going to be scary. You know, there's a lot of teams with a lot of young talent. Dod My Dodgers have a lot of young talent. The Brew Crew have a lot of young talent. They've reconstructed that team. Red Sox have young talent. So the Astros, Braves. We'll do that last. So, we got George Brett to 75. Oh, Derek Jeter, 7 out of 99. You got Derek Jeter, Christian Yelich, and there is the Indians, Jose Ramirez, 10 out of 75. That is for Ted Howard. There you go, Ted. Jose Ramirez, the tribe. Out of 75, nice number right there. Next box. Oh, speaking of the Yankees, Didi Gregorius um, getting Tommy John surgery, and I think he's a free agent this season. Not sure what the. I feel like the Yankees are just going to go bananas in the. Uh, is just going to go bananas in the free agent market, right? I think they're going to go for Machado. I think they'll be like, well, Didi's out. He's not on the payroll anymore. We're going to we're going to go and get Manny Machado, have him play shortstop. The Diamondbacks have talked about saying that hey, we may have all of our players available, Granky and uh Granky and um and Paul Goldschmidt, big names like that could be available. Maybe the Yankees will trade some young talent there for that. Who knows? Could be crazy. There's Walker Bueller to 150. He'll be pitching game three here in L.A. Dodgers just need to take game two. Just need to take one on the road. And they'll be in good shape coming home for a few. All right. There's Nolan Ryan, and behind Mariano Rivera is another Jose Ramirez, not numbered this time, but another gold frame Jose Ramirez for Ted and the Tribe. There you go, Ted. All right, next one. Yeah, hey, if, if you want to pick up, Ted, I know you're local, right? If you want to pick up, just shoot us an email, jaspiescasebreaks at gmail.com. Let our shipping team know, and they can make sure that they uh, set all this aside for you. See, they could trade this guy.
And this guy could be in pinstripes out of 150. Dodgers might try to go for him too. Maybe. I, don't, I actually don't know. I think maybe the Dodgers would like to sign him to a short-term deal. I don't think he'll go for that. I can't go for that. No. There's Goldie. There's Ichiro. And there is Jack Flaherty. Solid season for him. Goes to the X-Line and the Cardinals. Let's get some Dodgers Brewers post game going here on FS1. There's the frame. There's Don Manningling out of 150. Is that Dontrell Willis? The FS1 post game? Yeah, no, I mean, I think uh, I think Jose Ramirez can wait. Ted Howard, you don't have to. You don't have to come here right now in the rain. You know, you know how you know how Californians drive in the rain. You know how we drive in the rain. All right, back here is Corey Kluber. Behind Ryan McMahon is wow, more Indians. Francisco Mejia. Well, he's on the Padres now, but this was one of their big catching prospects. That's three gold frames for the tribe. There's the next frame. There's Roberto Clemente to 99. Ichiro to 150. We got Koufax and Otani and a Glaber Torres. Nice Glaber day for Ed Aarons. You got the Andujar and the Glaber Torres. Nice. Nice one for Ed and the Yankees. Four boxes left. Four gold frames left, ladies and gentlemen. Gold label baseball. Thanks for joining. We've got one more case available in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Check out the new website. Browse around, especially if you uh, if you're used to using your phone when you're uh, with Jaspies. Check out the new website on your phone. It's a lot better. Right. Oh, and the Mattingly too. Right, Sam. Sam Morell reminding me that we had the Mattingly redemption for Ed Aaron. So a great break for the Yankees.
All right. We got an out of 75, Austin Hayes for the O's, EA. And a Cody Bellinger to 150. That goes to Bruce. We got Greg Maddox back there. There's Manny Machado and another Francisco Mejia, another Indian for Ted Howard. One out of 50 this time. Wow. Box. There's the next frame. Maybe another Indian for Ted. Out of 150, Brian Dozier. Twenty-five out of fifty, Derek Jeter. Some Otani. We'll save those as well. And behind, well, there's Walker Bueller back there. And then there's Zach Granke right here. And behind Zach is another Jack Flaherty for the X line. Two boxes left. Remember, we have another case of this in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And we only have those two cases, ladies and gentlemen, so get into the baseball well, before it's gone. Chance to get these cool framed autos. Richard Sewell wondering if anybody wants to see that plates and patches break go. And we're still down to, we're still holding at one on that Illusions football. We gotta, we gotta kind of get that sold before the end of this break if we want to see that happen which would make it the last break of the night if we wait too much longer after this break is over we may just end up running out of time we'll just push that illusion till tomorrow we got out of 75 Randy Johnson Um, yes, you can absolutely feel the framed cards in the pack. It's it's definitely heavier, and, and you can feel the metal already. There's Clemente and Chris Stratton. Oppo Joe Mojo. Who has, who has the Giants? Craig Brogdon does. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really. Wouldn't really trust anybody who's selling these with, as individual packs. You kind of have to buy them by the box. I don't think it'd work the other way.
So like this one is already, you can already tell. And you can feel the frame through the, uh, through the pack too. All right, last framed auto, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Out of one fifty, Trey Mancini. Let's play two. 99 out of 99 for the Cubbies. That'll be for Landon. And our final framed auto, ladies and gentlemen. So behind the frame is Kershaw. In front of the frame is Buster Posey. And the frame is Lucas Sims for the Bravos. Darren McKenzie, D-Mac with the Braves. Couple frames for the Braves as well. And there you have it, boys and girls. Pick your team number one of 2018 Tops Gold Label Baseball in the books. Thanks very much. We've got one more case remaining on the website right above my head, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you, and we'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.